Hey guys, Coach Kelly here, the official trainer of I Love Lacrosse TV. Today I'm going to show you six really simple, effective drills for shooting faster and more accurately. I'm going to be taking one of my players through all six drills and I'll really explain each one in depth so that they're a lot more effective when you use them, all right? Let's get into it. So Patrick, now we're going to get into our progression of exercises that are eventually going to get you to what we just did, right? To, to the finished product. So the first thing we're going to work on, since it's a different grip for, for you and most kids that come in, we're going to work on the push first. So we're going to be facing that stick with the ball, but let me show you how we're going to do it. First thing we do, we're going to get our hand to the top of the shaft, but our hands, our thumb is still on the shaft, not on the plastic. So this strength, this is a strength drill, right? So this is going to get our hands stronger. So what we want to do is you grip it in the fingers and we're pushing that thumb in. If this like pillow muscle in your thumb isn't hurting, you're not doing it well enough, right? So if, if you see the way I'm going to dig my toes into the ground, you know, try to push me. Stand right there, and when my toes aren't in the ground, I'm like, just trying to push me, push me over. See how like easy that is? Now when I dig my toes in, and like loosen my stomach, now try to push me, right? So that's the difference. We're, we're going from learning how to, from an old habit of throwing with our arms, now we're throwing with our stomach, our glutes, our, our lower body. So it's a core exercise. It's like doing a pull up or a plank. Dig your toes in, squeeze your glutes, your stomach. We're gonna get here, square to the target, lay our stick down, get tight, big inhale, and we're gonna snap. We're not gonna even think about the ball. We're gonna focus on throwing our hand over the target. So it's gonna look like this. Dig the toes in, make sure I'm square. My right hand's pretty even with the target. I'm just going to let it go. Okay, if you're the left, the less movement, the better. So, where most people, we don't want to rotate, this is strength exercise. You want to get here. If we can learn how to move the ball from our knees, just moving our arms, when I give you your legs back and you're able to rotate and step, it's going to be super easy, all right? So, when you stand right here, it's perfect. Let's do it with your right hand first. Okay, dig your toes in. Get tight, put your hand up, lay it down, get tight, now extra. Good, once you get your butt this way, there you go, now squeeze, stay square, lay the stick down, good grip, and extra. Good, now let's do your left hand. The best way to do is we'll do 10 reps right, 10 reps lefty normally, get tight, and go. Good, try that again. Tight, tight, tight at the top. And exhale. Awesome. This is the one hand high five drill and this is the first progression. So once you master the one hand high five drill, the next drill, we're gonna incorporate the bottom hand, but we're still, it's the two hand high five drill. Same idea, we're still, still a strength exercise, we're getting real tight. It's gonna be a three quarters grip, right? So a middle grip. So we want this top hand about three quarters of the way down from the top of the stick. Now we're gonna attach our bottom hand about three quarters of the, or a quarter of the way up from the butt end. So, I want you to get your, or you can just do it this way, really. Get the top hand here. We're gonna attach the bottom hand about a, a quarter of the way up from the butt end. Get tight, and just kind of pull down with the bottom hand as we snap the top hand. So the reason it's a high five drill, when you give a high five, your wrist, right, it looks like this. Your wrist is even with your shoulder. We wanna be able to control the stick. We don't want to end with our hands down here, okay? So the way that'll look, get real tight. Right here, okay? Why don't you try that button? So good. Your top hand, quarter of the way down from the top. Pass here, get tight, and go. Good, do it again. More snap. I want you to really extend that top hand, all right? Extend it. Go. Good, good. So what you're doing a little bit is you're cranking your bottom wrist. Try to keep this wrist straight and just pull it, right? Don't crank it, just more top hand. I want you to, look, that top hand, just extend it. And exhale. Oh, better, let's do one more like that. Good, do it again. Stay square, do it one more time. We're starting to turn. Get tight, tight. Pass this hand, and go. Good, now let's do your left hand for a couple. You can start with two hands on the stick if you want. Stay square, and go. Good, that's perfect. Pop up to your feet. 
Perfect. So that's the two hand high five drill. And that's the second part of our progression. All right, Pastor, now since you've done a good job on the tall kneeling two hand high five, we're going to go to the next progression, the third progression, which is going to be now we're going to incorporate basically going to be the high five and the elbow. Right? We're going to incorporate the regular grip. So our bottom hand's down on the shaft, the top hand's here. And now we're going to start to go through the phases, right? So we dig our toes in, we're nice and tight. We're going to hug the beach ball. You know, the goal of this drill, since it's a strength exercise, we want to try to keep this front arm straight and we want to move our arms, not our shoulders. By doing that, we're going to get really tight here in our stomach. So we're just coming a quarter of the way back. We lay our stick down and it's high five and elbow, okay? So the reason for this drill, just this drill in general, is gonna make you a better shooter on the run. So the mistake that a lot of people make on the run, if they're moving towards the goal, the first thing they do when they separate from their defender is they rotate. So watch out, but if I rotate first, we, we tend to drift away from the ball, right? From the target, and we can't get back. So the, you're supposed to rotate last. We want to be out, up, and we're going to open our hips while our hands are back. So see this angle? It's exactly what we're doing here, right? Right here, right? And we're not going around. We're going hug the beach ball, kiss the shoulder. We're going up, lay it down. We're going to get tight, and we're throwing our arms off our body. So the way that's going to look, and again, almost every kid, probably you, as well, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna move your shoulders and your arms together. We want our chest and our hips, our shoulders and our hips, facing the target, okay? So dig our toes in, get tight, hug the beach ball, kiss the shoulder, lay the stick down, big inhale, and exhale. High five and elbow, all right? Let's see it, get up. Good, so first get square, get tight, Good, lock this out. Just move your arms. Just move your arms. Stop here, you should feel this getting tight. Lay the stick down, squeeze your stomach. Dig your top hand, thumb in, and exhale. High five and elbow, awesome. Let's do two more righty. Hug the beach ball, kiss the shoulder, inhale, exhale. Good, one more, that looks great. Hug the beach ball, kiss the shoulder, good. Good. Now do it again without the ball. Let's do one more without the ball. Great. So you notice how it's all coming together now, right? This angle is exactly what we did on the one hand drill. We're, we're still square. And now we're doing the high five in the elbow. Why don't you switch to your left hand? Do three more. Normally a good prescription for this is 25 each hand. Do three more. Hug the beach ball. Stop. Do it again. So on this side, you move your shoulders. So your chest is going that way. You ready? Get tight. It's tight, like I was gonna kick you, see how you did that? Awesome. Hug the beach ball, stop right here. Kiss the shoulder, stomach, thumb, high five, elbow, go. Awesome, do it again. Big inhale, pop, get tight. Hug the beach ball, kiss the shoulder, stop. Get tight, stomach, thumb, exhale. High five, elbow. Awesome. So that is the third progression. Good job, it's tall kneeling. High five and elbow. Great, so now our fourth progression. So once the athlete has earned the right to get back to their knees, uh, to, to get to their feet, to get off their knees, basically what I mean by saying they earned it is that their form is really good from their knees in all three progressions, right? So now the first three, which were the one-handed high five, the two-handed high five, and then with two hands, the high five and the elbow, we're gonna do them standing. So Pat, the first thing you're gonna do now so you get your right hand, you can do the one hand drill standing. So we want to get your right hand even with the target. And what it's going to look like, you're going to get in a good athletic stance, pushing your feet through the turf so you're nice and tight. Get to here, we're going to lay the stick down just like we did on our knees, and exhale. And we're going to focus on throwing our hand over the target. Get set, and nice and tight, push your feet through the turf, and exhale. So try it again. Try it again, right here. There your grip got a little loose, right? So pick that ball up. Get nice and tight. Let's do your body first. Athletic stance. Push your feet through the ground. Get to here. Now stomach. Squeeze your stomach. Take your top thumb in. Then exhale. High five. Awesome. Do one more. Same routine. Push our feet through the ground. Athletic stance. Hands at a right angle. Good stomach. 
thumb, exhale. Awesome, I'm gonna do two on your left hand as well. Then we'll normally do 10 inside on this one. Good, get tight, get to there. Stomach, thumb, exhale. Good, one more. Make, don't even think about the ball. Focus on throwing your hand over the target, which is the head of the stick. Nice and tight, good. Stomach, thumb, exhale. Oh, see, we rushed it. Perfect, I'm glad that happened, right here. So that's real important, which is why I say these stupid little sayings. That's why this works. So to break a habit, you need to tell your body what to do. So if I just go real quick, my body's gonna do what it wants. You need to think about it, so do it again. And that's the difference between just wasting time and having a good measure of practice. Right here, stop, stomach, thumb, exhale. Sting, good, one more. Let's do one more for good measure. Ready? Get tight, put your feet through the ground. Ready? Up, stomach, thumb, exhale. Awesome. That is the fourth part of our progression. Good job. All right, Patrick, now we're going to do the, the fifth part of our progression, the fifth exercise. Again, now you're going to go to your right hand. Nice athletic stance. We're going to get nice and tight. It's a middle grip, so our top hand is about a quarter of the way from the top. Bottom hand's a quarter away from the bottom. We're going to go out and up, get to that right angle, lay our stick down, squeeze our stomach, our thumb, and it's just a high five. We want to finish like we're throwing a high five. Our wrist and our shoulder are even. So when you get set up here, make sure your right hand's even with the target. So first, let's get our athletic stance, push our feet through the ground. Good, get into, get into place with your hands in the right spot. Good, now squeeze your stomach, thumb, and exhale, high five. Good, let's do it again. Get there, stomach, thumb, exhale. Good, so your stick, do that again where you ended, drop the ball. Show me where your stick ended. A little low, right? We want our wrist and our shoulders. So it takes body control and strength. Try it again, take this ball, okay? Don't hit my stick. Go. Good, awesome, now let's do it on your left hand, okay? And that's a good way of making sure it happens, right? Having someone hold an actual, um, good, you ready? Up, get tight, stomach, thumb, exhale. Awesome, one more. Awesome, and that, that's the fifth part of our progression. Um, standing, two hand, high five, good, nice job. Good, now once we've mastered the other five stages, we're gonna go to the sixth part of, of our progression. Get the ball, grab the ball, let's go right hand. Now it's gonna be the standing, high five and elbow. So again, push your feet through the turf, nice athletic stance, hug the beach ball, kiss the shoulder, right? We're gonna lay the stick down, nice and tight, and exhale, high five and elbow, okay? Let's see, let's get your stance first. You should move over so your right hand's even with the target. Good, get a nice good stance. Good, let's keep this wrist straight. Hug the beach ball, kiss the shoulder, stop. Nice and tight, squeeze your stomach. Top thumb and exhale, high five and elbow. Awesome, do it again. Now what you should hear me saying, I want you to be sitting in your head as well, all right? You ready, good athletic stance. Hug the beach ball, kiss the shoulder, lay your stick down, stomach, thumb, Go, high five, high five. Awesome, let's do, bump over your right so your left hand is even with the target now. Let's do two lefty. Good, get to the top, stop, stomach, thumb, exhale. High five, high five, awesome. One more. Good, get up, good, stop, exhale. High five, high five. My man, nice job. And that is the sixth and final um, stage, good job. I hope you enjoyed our latest video. If you want a free lacrosse training workout, just click this button right here. It's going to take you to a page. It's going to ask for your email. Just enter in your email and I will instantly send a copy of a free lacrosse training workout directly to your email. If you're on a mobile device like an iPhone or an iPad, that link is not going to work for you. That button will not work for you. Not a big deal though. Just go to the description and you're going to click on the first link in the description, which is I love lacrosse tv.com backslash free workout. So it doesn't matter if you're on your mobile device or what device you're on, you'll still have access to that. Once you click on that link, it's going to take you to that same page. It's going to ask you for your email, enter in your email, and I will personally instantly send over a free 
lacrosse training workout directly to your email. Do me a favor and subscribe to our channel, like us, leave a comment. I'm more than happy to do whatever videos you guys want to see. So please let me know what videos that you want to see in the comment section right below. And until I see you next time, keep working.